It's Lydia with Keep It It Country, and I'm here with the one and only... Ah, Jason Blink. Hello out there. How are you? <laughs> We're here in Nashville, and I just want to introduce you guys to a very talented artist that I met this week. God bless you. Thank Jason, you. Can, you tell your, uh, can you tell our viewers a little about yourself? Yeah, um, well, pretty much I've been playing music all my life, and I uh, moved to Nashville a few years ago, and uh, have been writing, and, and also right now recording a new album, and getting ready for that. Um, you know, my style is somewhat kind of in the vein of uh, Keith Urban and Brad Paisley and that kind of thing, and uh, just love to play music a lot. <laughs> so where did, where did you move from? Uh, Virginia, originally. I was uh, from a place called Freeman, Virginia. Have you heard of it? I haven't. <laughs> it's very small, to say the least, and, uh, and stayed there all my life, pretty much. I grew up on a farm, and, uh, and my granddad owned a dance hall and uh, a radio station, so I'd work on the radio station and then play at the dance hall. And, that's how I got into it and played music and stuff. So. so who so besides Keith Urban, who else would you consider your influences? Um, oh gosh. Uh, I have a lot of those. Uh, the Beatles. I love the Beatles. Um, Hank Williams Senior. Um, Hank Junior. Um, today's I would say, of course I love Al Dean and <laughs> Chesney and Urban and McGraw, but uh, I really like all types of music, so everything really kinda of inspires me. So if you had to pick an artist from a different genre to sing with, who would it be? Mm, that's a good question. Um, today, I guess, if you were just asking me today, <laughs> it'd probably be Jessie J. Have you heard of her? Yes. Yeah, and I think that's just because I'm digging her new song, Domino. <laughs> Shameless plug for her, by the way. But, yeah, I think that would be who right now right. at this, at today. Ask me tomorrow. Tomorrow would be different. Yeah, 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 exactly. So you say you're working on a new album. What other albums do you have out right now? Uh, I put out one before this, actually, and, um, you know, when I first moved to Nashville. And uh, it was a very uh, personal album. Like, um, had a lot of songs about, you know, where I grew up and um, my family and things like that. And now this new album is just, you know, I think a uh, growing experience naturally, you know, since I've been in Nashville, uh, writing more. Performing more, it definitely speaks where I'm at now, which I know sounds so cliche <laughs> to say, but that's really what it's about. And uh, I think the new album is a lot about love. So, not that I, I don't have it or have it, but that's what it's about. <laughs> so, so yeah. how, how's the new album going? Uh, it's going good. Uh, pretty much, we've, it's gonna, this actually, this album is just an uh, EP. And so, uh, you know, it's uh, five tracks right now. And uh, then we're recording also more for uh, an upcoming. Um, but it, it's going really well, and we're close to getting it done. And right now, as we speak, we are uh, at a photographer's place, Robbie Quinn, shameless shout out, working on uh, the album cover and, and trying to figure that out. And so it's going really good. I like it. And any idea when that's going to drop? Or? Uh, I would say at the beginning of the year. I would say January. I could be wrong. I push your fingers. I hope it's January. But um, that's what I'm thinking. You know, once through the holidays and everything, and uh, top of January, probably be when it's coming out. Do you have any major tour plans going on? Um, next year, we're hoping to hit a lot of festivals and fairs and things like that. And, um, you know, naturally being from Virginia, of course, that's my home base. So I'll go back there a lot. And uh, the East, a lot of the East. But um, I'm hoping to, to hit a, as many fairs and festivals as I can next year. Uh, while still, you know, playing here in Nashville and writing and doing all those things too. So what is it about country music that you made you want to get into it? Oh gosh, oh <laughs> goodness gracious, that's a serious question. Um, I really, you know, I, I don't think it's necessarily anything that made me want to get into it. I think uh, just my upbringing, and if you can see where I'm from, uh, um, obviously you would know like, you know, being raised on a farm, uh, and, and the dance hall that my granddad had and the radio station was all very small town and so I don't really think it was me wanting to get into country music I think it was just naturally what I am if that makes sense right. and, uh, and then you know having that upbringing and, and where I come from is so country and, and everything uh, then musically uh, getting led later on in life like in my teens you know to rock and roll Beatles and alternative mm -hmm. things like that so that kind of all those influences are brought together you know, from that style of music to what I am naturally is country, and so I don't think it. I think I was just kind of born into it. Really, it's, I don't know if that answers the question, no, but that works. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. If there's one thing you want people to know about you, if there's one thing they'll remember. What would it be? Uh, that everything about me is real. Um, that that the music I put out and and the way I am would be be real and and nothing fabricated, and it all kind of comes from me and. 
you know, I think that's what it's about. I think you have to be real with people, and it resonates. And, and I hope if they get one thing out of anything, whether they like the music or, or like me or not, at least they, they know that I'm being real with whatever I'm putting out. So that would probably be it. So anything else you want people to know about you? Um, that I love you. <laughs> and that I think you are excellent and that you rock. And, yeah, just, you know, check me out, um, jasonlinkmusic.com. And uh, follow me on, let's see, Facebook and Twitter and whatever else site I have out there. You, you don't know, know anymore. Yeah, I have no idea what I even have. And, uh, and yeah, just I really hope you enjoy it. And I really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to uh, interview me. Well, thank you. Uh, yes, ma'am. This is Lydia, live from Nashville with Jason Link.